Hopefully this will be the exciting conclusion. Good news is you already know that because you can go to the end of this video and see if, you know, the game's over. Anyway, back to this game. All right, Arthur. Good. Keep landing on North Carolina Avenue. Although, yeah, $52. I prefer you land on it when it has lots of houses on it. There we go. I've unmortgaged a bunch of properties. And that one. That one is also unmortgaged. Hop on over. Let's see, there are two properties left. States Avenue and Baltica. It doesn't matter who gets States Avenue. But if I get Baltica Avenue, that'll be my third Monopoly. And I'm guessing I'll just put houses on it right away. I guess it's... I don't know if it's strange that I... For other... You know, Monopoly properties... I just wait till it's unmortgaged. Everything's unmortgaged, then I put houses. But with Baltic and Mediterranean, I will instantly put houses there. Alright, 290. So we've passed that. So it's unmortgaged. Indiana and St. Charles Place. Because the maximum amount of money that I can give Arthur is, I believe, $35. At least for board. Because he owns Park Place. He owns, he only owns one railroad, so one railroad is $25. So he would like Tennessee Avenue. The answer, of course, is no deal. Alright, so it's on mortgage. There we go. I've unmortgaged all the properties, so hopefully Arthur will land on them, so we don't have to, you know, remortgage them. I only have five dollars. Look at that bank error in my favor. That is huge. So I guess I will start putting houses on the yellow, unless I get Baltic. Then I'll put hotels and houses there. Eleven, good. Eleven. Thank you for the forty-four dollars. Keep those one-dollar bills coming. Let's see. We get a three, and we get one. Man, it's Saint Charles place, but I own that property, so. Oh come on! Should have put houses there. It's. Only forty-eight dollars. It could have been more. It could have been one twenty. So there we go. I'll put houses here. Wow. I wonder if every property will be sold. Thank you, Arthur, for getting assessed. That is huge. So Arthur would like to trade again. No, I understand he wants to win, but eventually it has to go through his mind. Well, I guess it doesn't. I guess <gasps> his computer has one method. Look at that, six dollars. Very helpful. Get up to three thirty three. Arthur got States Avenue. So, the final property is Baltic Avenue. And there's no guarantee that it will be sold. So, hop on over. Good, just how about. Oh, he landed on it. $120. That is huge. Collect fifty dollars from Arthur. And because of that, that means three more houses on the yellow property. 
So it's now 360 and 330. That's a good amount of money. It's okay. You've landed on North Carolina enough. And now start landing on the yellow. Cool, what does he know? Yes, he does. A oh, come on assist! Ridiculous boardwalk has to go. Hopefully he doesn't land on it while it's mortgaged. That would be awful. Six. Seven. What did I do? We have four, I got a nine. There we go. Nine. Pay poor tax of fifteen. Alright, Arthur, make your trade. The answer, of course, is no deal. Let's see what we are to be in here. Seven. Four, five, but of course, he ends up in jail. So, good. I don't mind learning on that one, I own it. A come on, Arthur got him free, but he does give me $20. Which is the minimum you can get if you have two. A come on, pay hospital. Alright, Tennessee has to go. Nine. A few life insurance machines. I guess it's fine. There we go. Everything is back to be unmortgaged. Really? You got a two and a two this time? You can't even get the one and the one? Okay, Arthur. It's you want boardwalk this time. No deal, of course. Ten. One to Arthur. And I'm, my piece is going to jail. See, I want him to get assessed, but it's fine. Eight. Thank you for paying off the jail fee. And while I get to keep $88 of that, it's much better than getting three to one. Good. And on North Carolina Avenue again. $52. Nothing wrong with that. And two dollars. It's not 52, but two. So Arthur. Look at that. One. Hundred ten dollars, very helpful. All right, come on, seventy five dollars. Come on, there we go. Ten Illinois Avenue. See, you just oh, look at that. Fifty two dollars, very helpful. Up on over. All right, Arthur, make your trade. Well, he wants Tennessee Avenue this time. Wow, why would I even consider taking that deal? There we go. This means that hotels are coming on Baltic and Mediterranean. It is no longer two dollars. Now, now I get 125 times that amount. If he lands on Mediterranean or Baltic. Now you now I want him to land on Baltic because it's four fifty now. That's very helpful. Yeah, I, now I finally land on states. If you just wanted, I just did not want doubles. See, now I want him to land on Baltic. Look at that one hundred dollars. Very helpful. 
Oh, come on, go to jail. But Arthur was kind enough to pay off the jail fee. Seventy dollars, that is huge. Hopefully you can't hear the TV in the that other room. I mean, it's pretty uh, quiet. It's not loud. You really shouldn't be hearing anything other than, you know, the game sound in my voice. But, uh, I'll obviously have to check, just in case. Because, obviously, then I couldn't upload the video. Fortunately, $52. Very helpful. On over. Oh come. Take a walk on the boardwalk. $50, please. It's not Mediterranean or Baltic Avenue money, but $50, not bad. 11 let's see. Look at that get out of jail free. So let's put more houses here. And if one of the houses, then press B now. Let's see. Oh, come on. I guess there's a reason that all Arthur hasn't landed on Baltic Avenue all game. Hopefully, you know, that trend will not continue, and then he will land on it and give me some money. So Arthur would like Boardwalk. The answer, of course, is no deal. Doesn't make any sense to take that deal anyway. $18. Thank you. So hopefully, you know, I won't have to make a trade for red. And then I'll just keep ending up in jail. Thank you, Arthur. $800. That is very helpful. So let's put more houses here. I believe that I should get hotels. Now I will start working on the green. Right, three, oh, come on, money to Arthur. 52. Keep landing on it, and then it won't be 52. It will be more money. All right, I got a six, and my piece is going to jail. But Arthur was kind enough to pay off the jail fee. Look at that, $200. So basically, he just gave me his go money. Thank you, six dollars. That is helpful. Nothing wrong with that. How about you land on another property? But look at that, I get to keep all the money you gave me. Because I land an electric company, which I own. Six. Pay each player fifty dollars. So there's only me, so it's only fifty dollars. Obviously, if there are more players, it could be worse. Nine. Fifty-two dollars. Very helpful. All right. Up on over. Eleven. How about ten or twelve? Would have been nice. Up on over. Okay, you can offer a trade. Alright, what would you like? Tennessee Avenue? Why would I even consider taking that deal? Ten. Good, so now I can finally put houses on the green. It is no longer one fifty fifty-two dollars it's now one fifty and one thirty. That's a lot more. Well, could Arthur go an entire game without landing on one property? Actually, have I landed on Park Place yet? Well, you can obviously see. You watch the video and then double check me. See if I have or if I haven't. There we go. Six. Ooh, thank you. Fourteen dollars. Nothing wrong with that. Up on over. Seven. To Arthur. Four. Does he really need to get out of jail free card? I don't think so. 
There we go. He can't afford it. But he has to mortgage a lot of properties. So Arthur could be eliminated in the next roll. But I'm guessing I'm going to buy some houses. Look at all these properties. He has to mortgage. Virginia is gone. St. James is gone. And the final, New York Avenue is gone. So Arthur... So if Arthur runs out of money, he loses. So even if he lands on luxury tax, that will eliminate him. And Arthur, your game is over. So I guess I have to check, see if any of the television got on this. But until then, I will see you in the next video.